can you please introduce yourself? Sure, so my name is Yves Darnige and I'm the IBM Social Business Marketing Leader for uh, Southwest Europe. So, what is IBM doing in terms of enterprise to own social business? What, or what are your key offering to the market? I mean, the Enterprise 2.0 Summit is for IBM a core piece of a series of events that we're going to be planning this year and next year. And uh, because we want to kind of uh, have a regular touch point with the market to demonstrate the value of becoming a social business with IBM. So we will start with Le Web in Paris and then we'll have the uh, Lotus Fair event in Orlando in January and then We'll have, right after that, we'll have the Enterprise 2.0 Summit in Paris in February, which is perfect timing-wise because it will be right after Lotus Fair. We'll have a lot of great announcements to share with you there. And then finally, we'll have the French version of Lotus Fair in Paris on March 8 at IBM. So this is a big roadmap to go? Yeah, there's a lot going on around social business in Southwest Europe right now, which is, which is good. So the, the, the vision of social business is a very highly or is a highly strategic vision. Uh, can you explain it to us again? What are, in your words, what are, what is the vision of social business and what are the potentials? Yes. So basically, well, what IBM has done last year, we've been focusing on creating the market, the social business market, and highlighting the shift in the behavior to make social business real. And this year we are focusing on demonstrating the value of social business. And become a social business for a company is about two things. First, it's about people and it's about business processes. Why people? Because for a company to be a social business, they have to enable their employees for, from all the different divisions, whether it's HR, marketing or research and development, they have to enable them to use social tools on a daily basis. And, and for example, in, t in terms of customer case, we are, can think of HR people using collaboration solutions to find the best talent from around the world. You can think of the marketing folks that is driving their brand e-reputation and, and really act upon it by engaging with customers real time through social media and also about the uh, research and development product that can use social analytics to identify key trends and see where the next trend of innovation is going to be. So all, all, all those customer cases are, are things that IBM have been facing in the real world and IBM has all the solution and the business practice to help company go through that transformation of becoming a social business. And by the way, those solutions are all uh, available on mobile devices because the name of the game these days is social and mobile. Mm -hmm. and, and, and getting back to the uh, Enterprise 2.0 Summit, we'll have Ram, Ram Shah from IBM, who's the, the IBM uh, social business transformation consultant. Uh, that will be keynotes at the event and it will demonstrate and features all the solutions we have that, that help actually deploy a social business and make, make all the companies I mean, more profitable and, 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 and successful. Are there any key usage scenarios that drive the, this transformation process? So, because we're always talking about social business that the, the big idea and you also uh, said that, well, the listening approach is a very important one. So doing your analytics, what the customer wants, what the internal stakeholders want and how to drive, drive it. But is the listening the, the, the key issue and the key use scenarios or is it supporting? Well, in our conference, we always have those different approaches. Um, maybe supporting the information flow, supporting the collaboration. Are there any one of those that you could mention that are characteristic for, for the IBM projects? I, I think most of the IBM projects we've seen uh, around social business is more, is more around how to make people 
more efficient. It's, it's more around the workforce that, that, that has been, uh, the project has been around. And, and once you start talking about community management and, and making the workforce more profitable and more efficient, then you start getting into discussion around social business. And, and, and as you enter the point through like a, an angle that could be knowledge management or, I don't know, workforce profit, profitability or whatever, then you get down to what it takes to, to become a social business. So what, I, what I'm saying is, is most of the time, I mean, companies that don't think about social business firsthand, they're more thinking about traditional project that they have and, and, and issue that they need to kind of sort out immediately. And, and as they do that, and as they deploy that, and they fix the issue with IBM, they, they start thinking about becoming a social business and, and, and broaden the scope of the project. And, and, and along the way, and you figure out that they're going to be more profitable by, do, by becoming a social business. So I think that that's important, that, that, that the way we enter the discussion around social business is critical. And, and, and the, the, way the, the thing I like about the Enterprise 2.0 Summit is, is the track that you have set up for, for the event is very, very much aligned with the way customers think, and, and think about their issues and problems they have to solve in the short term. But, but but therefore, you would underline also the point that though your marketing theme is social business, you don't not, you don't sell social business in the first place. What 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 we sell is solution that enable those company to become a social business, but not just a solution. We also oh. sell the business practices and the policies for a company to deploy a social business because IBM is the biggest social business company in the world. So, so we, we know what we're talking about because we, we, we've been there and we went through that transformation already. So, so we, can, we can use that experience and apply it to, to customers' situation for the value of our customers. Okay, great. Thank you for the interview. You're